here is a list of programs which I am giving to you now. Now what is your job? See all the time till now time I have been now. talking about various rules of the language. The language. But we have not done good hands-on. Our time was not invested on the hands-on. We are just discussing the concepts. When to use this, when to use that and all these rules only I have been discussing all the time till now. So what is my requirement? Pretty simple. You create the program. Something like this. And open this handout which I am going to share with you people and type keep it side by side and type the code integer n console dot write line enter an integer int or n is equal to int dot parse console dot read line if n mod 2 is equal to 0 console dot write line even else console dot right line or so this program finished now come back to studio you have copied enough now run this program control f5 enter an integer 2 even good Again run. 3. Odd. Good. Finish. That's all. I don't even want you to even understand what is happening here. I repeat. I want you to copy the program from the handout. The way I have done. Easiest, easier job would be what? Copy. Paste. This is the blunder you are going to do if you do that. I could have done that. I could have simply copied and pasted here. Finished. My job is over. No. My requirement is simple. See you remember how did we learn writing character A? First they told me to write vertical line. Vertical line. Vertical line. Then horizontal line. Horizontal line. Horizontal line. Then slanting. That line I had to draw. And then they gave me a book in which all dotted lines were there. I had to connect those dotted lines and build a A. And after that, continuously the dotted dots reduced, dots reduced, dots reduced. And then there was a four line ruler where I had to write A. Now programming is not something which you can learn in one minute or one day. Let us follow the same old program, same old learning patterns what we did in our school. Before even you able to understand what is A, you only learned writing A. That's it. You don't know what to do with that A. You don't know A will become A for apple. You did not know apple will become an apple a day keeps the doctor away. You did not know all these things at that point of time. So right now, next, your only task is to simply see and write, not copy and paste. See and write and not copy and paste. I am repeating this point again and again. I want you to get used to typing code, making mistakes and make correction. You are going to make mistakes. You will not write like this. You will write. You will write like this. And then line will come. Then you will start thinking what is wrong. So now you will see comparison. So you will see okay I have to put this uppercase. 
and I have to change this to upper case. This itself is a learning curve. Accept it. This itself is a learning curve. You might be a programmer already in maybe Java. You might be an extraordinary programmer in some other language. Accept that in C sharp you are not very strong. So learn from ground up and you follow this practice. So what is the task? Simple. One, you are going to write the program and you are actually going to copy from handout to execute the program three try not necessary you will understand try to understand Try. That's all. If you understand well and good. If you don't understand also, it's okay. Without even understanding, I want you to write as many programs as you can from this list. Based on your commitment, how much time you can spare. It's your choice. You give one day, you give two days. Before you proceed, you have to do this exercise. Now, right now, you're writing this program. Now, problem is you're going to write so many programs. So, what you're going to do? This is one program, right? Now leave this as it is. Here it is main. Call this as main one. Now go to solution explorer. Right click on the project. And add a new item. Now what is this new item for? Look at what is the next program. Oh, I didn't give headings for it. Oh. Some program. Let's say this is program 2. So call it as program 2. Click on add. Some class and all this is generated. Now delete all this. We don't need all this. Just take the class. Press here SVM. Tap, tap. SVM, tap, tap. Things are not aligned. So use control. K D. So I type here. What is the step? Add. I mean, right click on project. Add class. Name is equal to let's say program two. And then you type inside class program 2 S V M tap tap that's how you should do S V M followed by tap and tap that's what you will press so what will you get you will get this Inside this, now you will have to copy program 2 from here. So you will write here now, integer. Keep it as side by side. Keep it side by side. Testing data. Integer. First, comma, second, comma, add, comma, subtract, comma. And so on. That's it. You just copy. Don't think you are expert. Don't even worry about concepts. Don't even think of what that program is doing. Simply copy as it is. They call it as a uh, fly to fly copy. You know, maki to maki copy in Hindi they say. If there is a fly on the book, which has died, and when I am copying from that book, I will also take one fly, fly, kill it and put it on the book in my copy. So like that I want you to copy. Right. Precisely, I want you to copy like that. Now, you will write second program. But problem is now what? We have two mains. We have main here also. We have main here also. In two different files, we will have main. So, what we should do now is, go to solution explorer, right click on project, go to properties, and here we will find under application tab, startup object. Change that to program 2. I will write here. 
to run. What will you do? Produce an explorer. Right click on project properties application tab. We'll have to set startup object is equal to program two. And then next is what? Repeat. Repeat the same for next program. Maybe you'll call it as program 3. And it goes on and on and on and on like this. So write the program which you are going to copy from the handout. Execute the program and don't even try to understand if you don't want to but if you can nothing wrong in it but don't put pressure on yourself you'll die if you put pressure there if you understood take it if you have not understood ignore it right click on the project add a class this is for second program for second program like this this is for third program repeat the same repeat the same as in program 2. See, this itself is what I am doing itself is actually programming. I am providing you a flow and this you are going to learn. And trust me, the story of just writing the program will not end. Once you have written the programs, you will notice that my fluency in writing program is good, but I am still not able to write program on my own. It's okay. Absolutely no problem. Don't even think of you able to write program at this point of time. Not required. When it is going to happen, I'll tell you. Don't worry. What would be next step? I'll tell you later. But right now, your focus is simple. You have to simply keep copying programs from the handout. One main method at a time. And with every main method, you are going to create a new file maybe in the same project and you are going to change the startup object like that third program fourth program fifth program sixth program and so on and on just go on that's it i'm repeating once again few important things please copy character by character by typing don't use control c control v have that experience of undergoing the experience of writing program that itself is an experience make mistakes intentionally at few places and correct them learn from your mistakes and you'll follow for all programs i would prefer writing all some places now you'll find uh, for example, in some places you will find main along with main you will find one more like this two. This two you will have to write together. You have to write main. Main is calling Fibonacci. Fibonacci series. So write that also. So both the programs you will write together in some places. Like that there is even multiplication of a matrix. Multiplication of a matrix would require three. Add matrix transpose matrix and then add and transpose would be used in multiplication so these three methods you'll write in single class trust me you will make thousand mistakes then you'll have complex structure and that complex structure is used with main so you'll write them together otherwise again you'll go back and start writing in division so this handout I am going to share with you people and this is only the entry point. After this we are going to see how to make use of these programs, how to build our logic, how we should understand what is there, how to memorize things, those things also I will guide you maybe in the coming sessions sometime next week.
with this mm. i leave you to practice before you continue further thank you